Hello everybody, welcome to week two of Aero BB. Up against Danton, who has got 1570 TV, 600 TV down he is. He's got a Tackle Pommel White, which is very dangerous. And uh, some other players. <laughs> um, obviously everything else, not quite as scary as the Tackle Pommel. Uh, my team's ridiculous with 11 dodges, 7 blodges. But the one tackle pommer can uh, can ruin my whole day, can't it? So, um, you know, yep. But it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to, you know, play properly, won't it? Uh, last time we played, he beat me when I wasn't playing properly. Not to devalue his win, it's just factual. <laughs> I'd already qualified, so I didn't care at all. Um... And uh, yeah, he went exactly what I thought. Cheney, Wizard, two bribes. Lots of people are taking lots of bribes against me this season, which is it's understandable, right? Because if you think you can make the playoffs, it makes sense to try and kill my players before the playoffs because my team's ridiculous. And if you don't think you can make the playoffs, then you might as well just kill my team for fun. So either way, People are incentivized to foul heavily and take loads of bribes. Yep. Oh, Calcium, what a legend. Oh, yeah. Lost in a fight to Mighty Zug. <laughs> I think I'll, go, I think I'll kick because my team's really good on defense. If I play defense. Which I'm going to this time. You can add, uh, you can surf this guy. And it's honestly not even difficult. I guess he'd get surfed back. Help me, me. Zug. That was Zug. Zug, Zug was there. Zug is, you know, nobody on earth could be like Morg, right? No, nobody living on earth could be Morg. Even Zug was, uh, you know, is seven foot tall and basically, with his muscle mass, is basically beyond the realms of possibility, isn't it? It's like oh, Shaq's almost there, you know, Brian Shaw's almost there. But uh, it's asking a lot to be uh, for Zug. Uh, what's he called? Half Thor Beyonce. But it's asking a lot for a real life Zug. Conan Stevens is maybe the closest. But it's asking a lot to be a real life Zug. <laughs> and a real life Morg is, is beyond all possibility. I'm still banned from Discord, yeah, yeah, in Aryan, yep. Yep, how long am I banned for? One day, 17 hours. I'm really tempted to get banned permanently as soon as my uh, timeout expires. Should say hello, shouldn't I? Hello.
Does he just have a shitty little ghoul up there? Oh, I guess we've got to come hard for his balls. I guess we've got to come hard for his balls here. Coming hard for his balls. Dice. I mean, he was steaming, wasn't he? You could tell he was thinking long and hard about re rolling that. <laughs> he was like, oh, I really, really want to re roll it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh. You are a dickhead. I didn't realise that the other ghoul had tackled, to tell you the truth. Oh, shit. <laughs> No AV breaks, so it's just the foul. There's only one playoff soap. There's only one playoffs at the end of three seasons. So I cunningly stayed in the second division. <laughs> So that I could uh, more easily position my, so I could build my team higher, and position myself better for a, a run in the playoffs this season, which is everything I hate about leagues. But there you go, I did it anyway. Well, this is interesting, isn't it? Lots of options here. You could hit him, go down the side. You could hit him. That's what I think I want to do the most. I could pom him. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yes, classic Jim Pom. Wonderful. Glorious, three, four, five, six, seven.
Brilliant. Yeah, no, I don't have jugs, no. But there is a strength for Russell Witch, but uh But she ain't surfing cause she ain't got jugs. And now of course she'd be terrible to get jugs cause she's got wrestle. Tragedy. Had to be the bloody wrestler that got strength for, didn't it? Diced again. Diced again. kept the middle very strong anyway so he, he's got no penetration through the middle has he and then if he tries to go down a sideline at some point it can shut him down pretty hard it's not great giving up hits though is it I think he's getting to pawn and then, well give me a good pawn back as well I guess It's making uh, the ball situation somewhat interesting, isn't it? That's making the ball situation somewhat interesting. Tanks, <laughs> Spock Bearer. Tanks, tanks, tanks. Oh, that's a very interesting foul. Well, hey, no frustration reroll. Very disciplined. But maybe the frustration reroll was a good idea. Who knows? Woohoo! Well, his pom is getting pommed. That is exciting. Nope, he's moving it again. <laughs> he's realised. <laughs> His pom is getting pommed. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but well, I guess he's got more players to. He's really going to protect the ball, though. He's really got to put in a lot of players to protect this ball. He's taking players out of this ball. Stand firm. But I mean, this is really tempting now to uh, push him and then push him out the back, isn't it? Okay, well, don't get to do that because I powered him. Of course I bloody did. Of course, it's an instant full pow. Never bloody lucky. But yeah, if I'd pushed him there, I could have just pushed him and then uh, pushed him out and fucked him. Oh, well, this is interesting. I could leap in and 1D him to push him into the 2D from the witch. One, two, three. Ah, he's got tackle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So no. Nah. That would have been nice though, right? Leap in, edge five leaps in and then pushes him back. I could even like chain him. Uh, 
Oh, he's got the stun for. Nah. Nah. Sad. Mm, that would have been really nice, wouldn't it? Chaining the arrow. Uh, well, yeah, I couldn't really chain the ghoul, but leap in and push the ghoul back. Or leap over and chain the ghoul back. But, like, hitting chain, he wasn't really great. Oh shit, fireball. Oh fuck, not great. I mean, it was a terrible position, <laughs> I think, to fireball. But, um, it's been a great result. <laughs> great for attrition terrible for position but great for attrition and therefore great for position isn't it removes a however many TV that player is 200 TV ish player or maybe it's 200 exactly Hello, fans of La Lucha Libre. <laughs> oh, fine. Frenzy trap gets away with it. Yeah, do I actually having to play? Disgusting, disgusting having to play for a result, isn't it? Outrageous. I did get attrition fireballed, yep, look how numbers. And it worked, it got rid of a 200k player, so can't even say it was bad. Because God knows I'm not power up going. <laughs> While I say I'm trying for the result, I'm obviously not trying that hard <laughs> that I would uh, that I would power up. Or. I'm not completely insane. Some people would call it that, yes. Terrible players would call it that. <laughs> you know, like Space Cadet. <laughs> no offence, Space. Space knows I love him. <laughs> Interesting doing that with before other things, but I guess he's got the bribes, hasn't he? So basically impossible to get sent off with two bribes. There you go, use them both. Was not sent off. Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah, but it's still basically impossible, isn't it? It's basically impossible. Uh, I personally would have tried the dodge first before the foul. But with with one with one with one bribe I would have tried the dodge first. I think with two bribes, I think seeing as it's basically impossible to get sent off, it's okay to do the uh, to do the other one first. For fuck's sake. Honestly, if I didn't have bad dice, I wouldn't have any dice. Yep. Brilliant. The pom hit on his fucking killer got me a reroll burn. <laughs> Amazing. Outstanding positional advantage gained by that. <laughs> Good players are exposed. Down two. At least he hasn't got his bribes left, but then that just means he'll play better. <laughs> it did dry, Rick. It badly hurt my. Uh, Woman kiss. Which is a bit of a fucking tragedy, isn't it? <laughs> to be fair, the, uh, the attrition fireballs are always pretty insane value versus this team. <laughs> There's so many good players to hit in any given in any given fireball. They're always gonna be tempting for people, aren't they? Well, it's like what it's like what Rick says, isn't it? You know, like it was it was a it was certainly a bad positional. It was a bad positionally if it doesn't remove, but you know there was so, there was a lot of chances to remove, and also it depends how you judge the equity of the match, right? If the if you if you if you think to yourself, I can't win. Wow. <laughs> okay <laughs> well there was some bad dice for him then good if you, <laughs> if you think to yourself there's literally no way I can win this except by getting really lucky then it becomes a good fireball doesn't it Yeah, I can't, I can't talk about my look for the rest of the match, can I? <laughs> oh, I don't want to push him to here. I've got to put. I've got to hit him out, haven't I? Which is annoying because that's the fucking edge five, but I had to hit him out. To a pile. 
I really want to. Where's his dirty player over here? Diced again. Good. <laughs> Love rolling quad scores against the 2100 TV team. Ah, 2170! <laughs> I love being a dickhead. It really does, it really does make me chuckle. Ah, oh dear. Hello, how yet you have done? Yeah, I have done. Um, I haven't really replaced it with anything yet, and I might end up. Uh, I might end up. Oh shit! You can chain the tackle on. Oh, I should have piled on. Look, should have just piled on, shouldn't I? What a knobhead! I'm getting fouled anyway. He was able to chain him in for the hit, but uh, never mind. Um, I'm not going to get a proper job, no. I'm definitely not going to get a proper job. Um, but like, you know, like streaming has not been proper jobs worth of money anyway, right? Like streaming Blood Bowl is like worse than minimum wage. Probably even for, even for somebody as mercenary as Mr. Pitch. <laughs> It's infinite fake subathons. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> it was never really, you know, it was never really a, a real thing. It was just, I was always just fucking pissing, uh, pissing in the wind, as it were, in that regard. But it was fun, wasn't it? That's the, the important thing was it was fun, and it was like just about enough to. Uh, to deal with it being, you know, not a wise decision. <laughs> Whereas uh, now that it's not fun because Blood Bowl 3 is terrible, there's absolutely no point doing it, is there? You know, maybe if I had 10 times as many subs and everything, then maybe it would be worth doing if it wasn't fun. But. Hey. Let's move it, guy can hopefully do it. He's just fine. good for good good for me that he fouled positionally, but okay. Needy I mean that was that was really poor, right? He had to get the wolf around. Had to get the wolf around there. That was that was not the play for winning games, in my opinion. Bad thing is, I just kind of have to make dodges here. Yeah. 
three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven. So I'd have to get him out there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, double GFI. That's fucking shit, isn't it? He could punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI. I'm blitzed, have One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. Lob it back. I've got leap. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, oh, that's much better, isn't it? Problem is, I'd really want to GFI and hand off, wouldn't I? And then he can still just come through here. Bit shit. Could have done with powering that fleshy, really. Would have been nice. Yeah, I didn't realise just how weak I was through the middle. Of Cheney's just straight in for. If Ch like for some reason, I kind of thought this guy was out here, and it still wouldn't have been super strong, would it? But have been a bit stronger. Maybe rather than trying to knock that guy down for the second time, I should have dodged him out. And if I dodge this guy down to here, then this pass and that dodge out looks then amazing, doesn't it? Still got three turns in the ball though, so anything can happen, can't it? Anything can happen. Like Frosty getting KO'd. And powers me blodger. Dodger. It's not great, is it? I mean, I needed a push. Whoa, hey! <laughs> nice one, Cheney. <laughs> Quads is completely reasonable, isn't it? Two quads is completely reasonable. Amazing.
absolutely amazing. Holy shit. <laughs> I nearly dub scold. <laughs> Fuck me. Roll the one. That's pretty good getting on there. And he's stunned. <laughs> Another one. I mean, I've rolled loads of ones. Like, I know he's rolled double skulls, but it's funny that, like, nearly every dodge has been a one, but it's, it's obviously okay. This is the big one, isn't it? Because it's a three. Through tackle. It's another one. I'm okay with re-rolling this, I think, actually. Nah, you're alright, thanks for me. Yeah, it has to focus on damage, yeah. I guess I will just have to... Double quads, uh, that is unbelievable. Double quads is pretty unbelievable. Yep. It really is, isn't it? Holy, you don't see that every day. I roll double quads in a game... Uh, I remember, like, early Blood Bowl 2... I had a dwarf team and I like rolled I rolled quads nearly in back to back turns. It was unbelievable. Well hey. To be fair, he's, he's, he didn't he didn't frustration reroll all of his early hits. <laughs> and when he did reroll he just got quads. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh man. Fucking brilliant. Didn't do the brain dead reroll reroll all the hits trying to get some damage in. Save them for the dub skulls <laughs> and then just roll quads anyway. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Well, hey. I could just score here. He's got low chances of a one turn. What I want to do is hit this guy desperately. So he can go there to cancel one, and I can put if I can get the guard in. So how do I get the guard in there? One, two, three. Four, four. No, no, because I've got to hit. I've got a pal. And then make a blockless block! A blockless block! The worst fucking play I've ever seen in my entire life! A blockless block!
What a complete fucking moron! Kill him. Diced. Right. I mean, my best players are like less exposed by scoring and then two chances of kills. So it's a double whammy scoring early. scared of a wolf one turn either to be honest. T B H That was a disappointing KO roll, wasn't it? Dodge guard is staying out. It's the second match where this team has rolled double quads. <laughs> that is fucking unbelievable. And if he gets the one turn, then I can go for the one turn, so... One turn is a okay here, really. But yeah, that was that was unfortunate. Both of them staying out. Not as unfortunate as double quads, before anyone says anything. <laughs> Hello, Big Chi Chi, it is indeed. Yeah, you'd think you would have mentioned rolling double quads in a, in a match before, but he's rolled, now, he's rolled, now he's rolled double quads twice on the same team, which is, uh, which is pretty amazing. I have rolled double quads in a match before. But I have not rolled double quads twice on the same team before. That is unbelievable. I think I've only ever rolled double quads in one match. Like, ever. I think I've only rolled double quads once. It's pretty unlikely, isn't it, to roll double quads? I mean, it's unlikely to roll one, but also kind of inevitable <laughs> when you play that many games. Two in one match is uh, unbelievable. Oh shit, well, quick snap helps, doesn't it? Flip me. It's a good kick, though. Very good kick. Very good kick, and he's got no reroll, so I'm still not scared. Still not scared. Still gonna be very lucky to get this. And so far, the biggest weakness in his game is bad luck, so <laughs> I'm not betting on him. <laughs> I'm not betting on him rolling all the dice for this. <laughs> you can't bet on a dude who's rolled quad skulls twice to uh, to roll all of the dice to get the one turn, can you? Oh, he's got catch though, he's got catch on Cheney. Oh, now he can use the blitz through. That's actually a lot more likely, isn't it? It's actually a lot more likely, but still, the kick's still good. 
the kick is still nice and deep. It's still it's still going to take some dice without the reroll. But Cheney with catch and the blitz through is pretty amazing, to be honest. Yeah, it's actually. If you had a reroll for the pass, I think it would be pretty good. Pretty good odds. But the pass is going to be like a 5 plus, isn't it? Probably. Which is putting a real. Uh, a real dampener on proceedings for him. That's the pow. Look a dog. I guess he could uh he could pass to the white. It might maybe be a four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's gonna be like a six plus pass, isn't it? He might have to pass he might have to five plus it to the white, who then hands off to the who then hands off to train. Yeah, he's probably got to relay it now. No, this is definitely wrong. No, oh, that's definitely wrong as well. Unless he's got an ad jump on <laughs> Unless he's got an ad jump zombie. Well, he gets a Kaz out of it, so there you go. Maybe he's just going to foul first. Yeah, okay. A pom and a foul gives you like more match equity than this 6 plus pass, right? Should probably foul. If he's going to make the block, if he makes that block, to part of me, should probably make the foul as well. To be honest. Well, like, it was obviously definitely wrong making that block going for the score. Like, in terms of percentages to score, it was definitely incorrect. But you can argue for match equity, it was, it was correct. Sunshine. Hopefully, he doesn't come back. Outrageous bad luck. Of course. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, four out of four KOs failed, and somehow down two players. <laughs> steaming out. <laughs> I'm not steaming. But it's unlucky, isn't it? It's just it's just objectively unlucky to fail four out of four KO rolls. And take that extra cast there. So only have nine players. But of course I can quick score and go two 0 up. And then it's GG almost. So he's got to be wary about like a score. Like I can score any turn. That's the problem for him now. Is that I can score any turn, and it's it's a game over basically, right? So he's got a really hard for him to defend. Elves that are allowed to score any turn they want. But he is two men up. <laughs> so. I'm 
and down two guards as well as the strength, so like down a lot of power. And if only I had my witch. My witch would just plough through this guy and it'd be easy, wouldn't it? As it is, it's two players to hit him. I think I just go for the lucky strength four bits on him. Put him in there, see if I power him, and if I do, there's a few guys down. Nah, he can't stay there forever, I'll just punch, just punch on the other ones. Blitz is pretty horrific, isn't it? Well, hey, throw a rock, cancelled. Glorious, perfect end zone kick. Yeah, it's definitely the best stadium. Nice. Get a man up. No wizard to worry about is nice, isn't it? Well, maybe I should have blitzed the guy who was in contact, but he's he's in contact with bludges anyway, and obviously massive value if the for wolf. Another one gone, eight players should have dacked.
cows be bodger. It's pretty disappointing. Into a cows. Into a death. And that's why you should always block away people who are engaged, eh? Can my bludger survive one hit? Can he fuck? So is a normal offence though, isn't it? Sport bear, that's the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> This is the this is the thing why everyone who insults the Dakar is basically fucking stupid because <laughs> the things that the Dakar's bad against a normal offense is bad against as well. People are like, "Ooh, the Dakar's bad against lizard men." Yeah, so is a fucking normal offense. <laughs> you know, Dakar's bad with rats. So is a normal offense with rats. thought something could work. <laughs> I mean, he will be. I, you know, the the two quads were brutal, weren't they? Like, it's 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 a funny old game, Blood Bowl. Both players can feel hard done by in the same game. Like, this is obviously a pretty shocking offense for me. Double, double, uh, double KO fails. Randor Kaz, that guy getting Kazed, have all been shocking. But obviously, in terms of single events, <laughs> quad schools that shatters your drive twice <laughs> is uh, is hard to uh, hard to rival. But you know, would would his offense collapsed anyway? Is is the question? Maybe is the answer. My team is a lot better than his. So like maybe he's able to broken his down his offense eventually anyway. He, I think he was, in, in a way, he was more unlucky that his pawns did nothing in the first half, right? Like, his, his pawns just basically did absolutely nothing for the first seven turns. Which, uh, so that, that alone was getting him to a lot, getting him into a lot of trouble, right? That was getting him into more trouble than a single bad roll, but then obviously the quads, the, the tackle pommer quads gave up the 2D on the ball with tackle. <laughs> So that was pretty brutal. The second quads wasn't that impactful because even if he powered us, you know, would have still had the eight movement eight to pick it up and stuff. So the second quads wasn't as impactful as the first, but it's still quads and it's still pretty fucking terrible. Hello, Ordont. Oh. Nah, 
Ah, now he does greet it. Not into dub skulls, sadly. An apple's gone. So of course it's a Kaz. Not a perm. Unbelievable. Luckiest guy in the world I am, obviously. Right. <laughs> oh, God. So these two can both dodge out to sideline it, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pass it through somehow, I guess. Quite like this move, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI handoff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I think this hits pretty good. He might have to three plus it. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. And he might have to three plus it as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. How far can he get? Not very. So you could pass it. Double one. Well, there we go. And that's it. GG. Let's drop the GG in. And that's it over. He did roll double quads, yep. Yeah. He did indeed roll double quads. And he's still going to draw. I mean... <laughs> I have been for a while. <laughs> I have been for a while. <laughs> you can see this, right? <laughs> there are seven people off the pitch. I know, I know bash teams for some reason just expect to cas every single thing they touch, but they really shouldn't. <laughs> they really shouldn't expect to just make infinite cas. This this half has been brutal. Four KO fails into these all these removals has been pretty brutal. No, this is just standard help. This is just standard helpism. You've got to ignore him really or ban him. <laughs> I could ban him. <laughs> if I don't ban him, you've got to ignore him basically. <laughs> You should have taken the push on the off chance that I Thomas T stepped to there, I think. But I guess, nah, he, he shouldn't because I would have just got the right square, wouldn't I? But he could have hoped I went to the wrong square, I guess. This is interesting, isn't it? This is a bit of an over-pursuing in a way. He's got his two fleshies behind the ball. Very nice. I mean, I haven't got very many people left to <laughs> go anywhere or do anything, but still. <laughs> the 
The idea is there that I could make a breakaway. I mean, yes, I can leap, but, you know, he does have two movement, eight wolves. One strength, four with wrestle. <laughs> and I've got hardly any other players to go with me. But, yes, obviously I'm just going to leap away. <laughs> leap one, if he didn't have wrestle, the leap one day would be great, because... This guy's fucked, isn't he? Because he's stopping, he's stopping the witch off getting out, and he just rolls an instant power. Into a V break. Man, I really want a 1D. Like, the 1D is just so powerful. But it's so risky. She's got a 3-2 away. He's got a, what, 4-3-2 away. We'll go this way, and then it's another 2. 2 plus... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's that's basically better though, isn't it? Problem is Witch Elf can't follow at all then. I think I have to go this way. Double GFI. No, I just have to. And now the reroll's gone for the Witch Elf, which fucking sucks. The problem with the strength 4 blitz on the wolf is you can't get rid of this guy then. Like you can't clear the tackles if you do that. If this guy hadn't had his armour broken, I'd been much more inclined to have gone for it. But like with this, if this guy can uh, can dodge through and she can dodge through, you've got a full screen. And the tacklers are done with. Well, hey! <laughs> Good old Flicky. Oh shit, it's my, uh, uh, Good old Flicky. Roll the Dublay Skulls.
I mean, no, I, I disagree, obviously. Obviously I disagree because I did what I did. <laughs> I, I don't even think... Unless you mean you're in... Yeah, it probably... Yeah, going out this way was probably safer. But worse, yeah. Yeah, Go, going this way is safer because it's just a 2 plus off. And 2D. And you have two players around the ball. But you just guarantee to get fucked. Whereas this way... You know, it wasn't necessarily going to get instantly fucked. I think it was much worse going the other way. Has he got a cheer fire? Has he got a cheer fire? No, he doesn't. Bastard. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. What about this one? He can go to there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and he can go to there. Alright. Here we go. Flip me. All right, good. Good. Well, hey, you got the power. Outrageous. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, well, not the not the worst thing in the world, I guess. I wonder if maybe this guy, rather than just going to the middle of nowhere, maybe should have gone here to um to screen with that guy. Yeah. I mean, it's still rough for him. He's got no rerolls, and uh, on a failed pickup, then my edge five just gets it and scores. So it's still looking pretty shitty for him. <laughs> not not as good as I'd like it to be, <laughs> but still not good for him. Very interesting, wasn't it? Brilliant. See, but this is the thing. By going that way, these guys are out of it for a turn, right? If I'd gone this way, both of these tacklers were up here, and then next turn they're down there as well. It was much better getting clear of the tacklers, I'm sure. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure I was correct in going to the right. <laughs> Don't be a dickhead, L. <laughs> God, <laughs> I'm not saying it anymore, and I'm saying it was it was it wasn't an easy choice. Uh, like my instinct was to go that way. But I felt they just left it too dodgy. Obviously, have to keep him in contact with the wolf. Another roll he could potentially fail. Doesn't follow either, so no tackle on that guy. That's interesting. <laughs> I am the glue. <laughs> 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 
Oh no, he makes the first roll. He makes the second. He makes the third. What a look at dog. What an absolute look at dog. Outrageous. Luckiest man in Blood Bowl. Forget about the quad skulls. Forget about the quad skulls. The luckiest guy who's ever played Blood Bowl in, ever in history. <laughs> uh, fail the one that doesn't matter. Fail the one that doesn't matter. Outrageous. I really just want to get these guys up and make dodges with them, but then obviously if I fail it's all over, isn't it? The good thing is he's only got a few turns left and hasn't got any rerolls himself. He's the one I want to blitz with, right? So I've got two players back. I want to dodge with him for the for the guard, and then dodge blitz with him. That means that I do get the. If I do it this way, then it means I get him on him first. Sucks a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, reverse cage. He's got no rerolls, but he's got three turns, which is quite a lot if he gets away. Which is pretty easy for him to do. Maybe this guy, maybe I should have thought more about where this guy was going. Like, maybe he should have stood there. Maybe that's exactly where this guy should have stood. Let me sit with Cheney, interesting. Yeah, he's got one's got dodge, but I didn't want to take the one in thirty six before, you know, hitting the ball and try, <laughs> and trying to win. <laughs> was the problem. Yeah, wolves are fast, aren't they? Wolves are fast. Which is problematic. Also, he took out both my tacklers. Which is also problematic. But he's got no rerolls, so things can happen. Not like not knocking down, though, obviously. Hello, Tibbum. Yeah, no more quad skulls for him. Lucky git. <laughs> Lucky son of a bitch. No more quad skulls for him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, put the lottery on. <laughs> Hello, Tibbum. <laughs> oh, I've missed you too, Tim.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double G. I mean, double GFI is insane. He's just got to stand up like an idiot. She can go there. I mean, she can go there and try and. Do maybe I've got to dodge this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three two pluses to get him to there is a fucking joke. A three two is basically impossible, yeah. You could do a two two, but then there's no re rolls on either. That's not bad though, is it? We'll try that. <laughs> Just instant. Yeah. Holy shit. Fuck me. Oh, this guy's in range. <laughs> Flesh is in range. <laughs> Instantly. And uh, yeah, the wolf's still in range. I mean, it's hard for the wolf, though, right? With three sidesteppers on him. Yeah, wolves are really, really fast. And like they're better in this kind of situation, right? When like there's not many other posing players and stuff, like they become amazing when there's less players on the pitch total. And, like, I've been playing down a lot of players for a lot of the match. Well, a lot of the second half. The first half went swimmingly. <laughs> Obviously, no complaints over the first half, but the second half has been a struggle. doesn't remove, he's in a pickle, isn't he? But he has got POM on armor 7. So. <laughs> Fucking cunt. <laughs> I mean, not many teams can outrun them, Dwyer. Like, not many teams can outrun them, right? <laughs> Especially not when you've got five players on the pitch. But, like, even Skaven struggle against Necro, right? Because, like... They're just hard to outrun. And especially when, like, you start losing players. As, as like, agility teams tend to lose players against them. Because while they're not particularly bashy, they're bashy, they're bashy for elf teams, aren't they? They're not bashy for, like, bash teams. But they're bashy for elf teams. Oh, fuck. Necro are tricky for everyone, really, because yeah, as you say, no one can, no one can reliably. Obviously, anyone can just dice them, right? 
but nobody can reliably outbang them. Yeah, they, they can just dice bash teams. The bash teams that should be... You know, should have a kind of... Oh, that was his player. Right, good. <laughs> good. And not that it matters anyway over there. It's pointless. Him back. I guess I could chain him forward one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's all I can do. Fucking pathetic. But he has mattered him on that skull. <sighs> I've got no reroll, so trying to get an assist in seems impossible. <laughs> French code, he's not French, is he? Oh, Tudid. Yeah. Yeah, choose on it. Choose, choose not <laughs> I was getting. Uh, I was getting bamboozled. Man, that fucking wolf rolled all the dice, didn't he, the motherfucker? <sighs> no, no permanent damage. Good night, or don't. I don't think there was a missing skin, there might have been. Only got all blocked by seven. Four KOs and four cans is pretty uh, pretty brutal. Yeah, there's a few ones wrong. I mean he he's not supposed to roll quads either. <laughs> what were the dodges like? 70% <laughs> Not ideal Wake up rods <laughs> We're actually 0 out of 4 But still Even the leap Even one of the leaps failed But um Obviously he rolled 2 quads Which uh yeah, So yeah no, no, Not even a miss next No which, to be fair, with 13 players, I've got a bit of protection versus misnexts. Misnexts aren't the end of the world here. Uh, Witch Elf got closer than the next skill. Blitzer got closer than the next skill. So, you know, it wasn't terrible. Um, I obviously would have liked to have won after the first half. <laughs> would have obviously liked to have won after the first half, but hey, what can you do? Um, right, um, <laughs> both your assassins have got killed, yeah. <laughs> right, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.